Hey guys, today we'll be working with my 2023 South Steens Herd Gelding, who is approximately five years old. Let's get to it. As I said, today we'll be working with my 2023 Mustang in the wild. He is known as Lobo. I do have a different name for him, which I will be giving to you guys as soon as I get his tag off. It's kind of a rite of passage for the Mustangs when you get their tags off. Today we are in a new pen. Um, it is important to train horses in new areas to make sure that they're actually listening to you, not just the surrounding areas. So I'm starting off simply by reteaching what we've already learned. The stop and look at me, just like there. I back off. I'm trying to say, hey, you know what we're doing. Let's focus. You could do this, even though it is a new scary area. He's doing great. So I just continue this back and forth, back and forth, until I get him to calm down. As I've mentioned in his first session, he is a very reactive Mustang, so I need to work through his reactive part first and get him into his thinking brain. And already he's like, okay, I remember this. I know what we're doing here. He is bowing his head down. He's walking up to me. He's doing great. I am going to try to push to make contact today so that he doesn't get just comfortable with the bowing his head and I'll back away. I wanted to know that I am expecting more, but we will still go at a nice steady pace. And there we go, and look at that. He's like, okay, I know you. I sort of trust you. I'm a little nervous, but I sort of trust you. So <laughs> he's really trying for me and he's really doing well. And there we go, look at that, beautiful. He's forward in his motion. There's no pinning of the ears. It's a really nice thing that I'm looking for. I have to be cautious with him because he has been a stallion as of 9-11-2022. And since he's been a stud for so long, he does have that mentality where he feels like he can overpower me. So I have to just be careful and watch out for this. And later in this video, you'll see why I am cautious about that. As of now, though, he's doing great. I am soon going to start sticking my hand out to try to get him to go and actually touch my hand, but we're still introducing the walk up to me, bow your head. Good boy. That was very good. And again, we do this back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Training is a lot of repetition and repeat. <laughs> the being consistent is the key to training. If you're consistent with your movements, your releases, the horses will pick up on it very well. They're extremely smart animals when it comes to this. For him, now I'm trying to get him to walk up to me, I'm putting my hand out, and he's tilting his head side to side, meaning he's trying to keep me in one eye. I want him to have both eyes on me. It's a bit more of a vulnerable spot because my hand does disappear, but if he keeps both, hand, both eyes on me, he's good. Here, we are going to get our first touch. He walks up, he goes out to sniff, and he touches me. <laughs> Big explosion backwards, but as you can see, I'm so excited because he touched me. I'm so happy. Here's our second touch, and you'll see how much better it was. So we're going to walk up again, get our second touch in. Oh, and he did so well. Look, he's smelling me. That is their way of smelling with their upper lip put in the air like that. It allows for their sensory glands underneath the upper lip to smell better.
beautiful with her little mare Cheyenne there, introducing the steps that we start all of our Mustangs with. Here is an example of when my gelding got aggressive on me. I back up and he lunged forward and I was like, no. <laughs> I stood my ground and I went right back up to him to let him know that he couldn't push me around. But because of this, I did end up introducing the whip in order to keep a bit of a distance between me and my Mustang and just for safety's sake. I wasn't whipping him with the whip, I wasn't hurting him with it, I was simply introducing a different form of contact as you saw with my mom and her little mare Cheyenne. She, it was a new point of introduction to pet the horse first with that rather than with your hand. And since he got an aggressive on me a few times, that was the only one I caught on camera, but he was aggressive a few times and so simply for safety's sake I introduced the whip. Here I'm letting him see me hold it in my hand so he gets used to it and know the same protocol that we've been doing over and over again. It doesn't change even though I now I have a new instrument to work with. He is a little leery as you can see but he is also a little hyped up now that I got after him. My emotions changed and energy changed and he can feel that. He knows that I wasn't too excited about him lunging forward at me the few times he did. So we have to work on that and I myself have to work on controlling my emotions more. I need to breathe and stay calm. I did the best I could, but there's always room to improve. Here I'm introducing the whip. I'm just letting him look at it, hopefully try to smell it. As soon as he looks with both eyes on it, I release the pressure. Then I'm going to bring it back and eventually I'm going to go to his shoulder with it. It's easier for horses to have their shoulder rubbed before their head simply because it's a less vulnerable spot. So I'm introducing it, back off. We're just gonna do this over and over again. Again, repetition and repeat. Rinse and repeat, as they say. He did a wonderful job though. He was really trying and in the new pen, new area, new emotions, all of it's new and he still really wants to try. I cannot wait for our next session together. My goal is to simply touch him and make that contact with the whip on our next session. We did end the session off, off with a great energy. He was calm and we went back to what we knew and he was still walking forward to me. I love this boy. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to smile and make, make brighten your day and somebody else's. Bye, guys.